<clears throat> hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be looking at this new Gills deal that we have been uh, gifted by EA. So this is like the Pride, there's like a mini Pride update, so I'm going to do two videos. One going through the premium gameplay. Actually no, this is a Gills deal, so I'm just going to do one straight video of it. What am I on about? Um, yeah, I'm just going to do one video on this actually, there's no point going. But I'll go through all the quest lines and all that. So, we go back a long way, right? Well, you got to help me. A while back, old Gil sold a Burns Dragon to a Russian agent. The fellow was playing the game in English. How was I to know? Now the FBI is after me. I can't go to jail for treason. On the other hand, free room and uh, and board for the rest of my life. You know what? Do what you got to do. So this is... Uh, what's his name? Uh, so, J. Edgar Hoover, and you also have his undercover thing. So, this is a character and a costume. So, 199 donuts, let's buy that. So, this is a Gills deal, so I won't uh, hey, hey, do a separate video. So, hello there, s uh, sub supplies at the elements, what the fuck that is. Hey, hey, <laughs> uh, undercover Hoover. If you're a communist infiltrator, you'd better buy me two drinks. So that goes into Civil Servants and also Springfield Pride. So let's have a look. So, whoa, thanks, pal. You saved me from federal prison. So long, hot, so long, hot meals and showers. So, J. Edgar Hoover, the greatest cop who ever lived. Springfield, how did I get here? Well, you see, there's a space-time continuum deli and some kind of big machine. We used to explain it, and every time somebody new showed up, but now it's kind of like, here you are, deal with it. Is this the safest town in America like it was my, g like, like it w was when my G-men kept the Mafia in check? Well, so make a, a J. Edgar Hoover learn of Springfield's fall from grace. I wonder if there's going to be a separate quest line for the costume. We'll have to see. Um, <clears throat> to, clean up, to clean this town up, we'll have to work day and night with total professionalism. Let's call Operation A, and I'm wondering if there's a, a if there's a B. So let's have a look. First things first. Show me your dossier on every major criminal in town. Dot dot dot. Dossier. It means a record with all permanent. In, uh, I I know how to say this word. I just can't. Information on a suspect. Oh, you want to to see the napkins? Yeah, we uh, we are usually taking notes on the back of napkins. That way, if I'm eating all at my desk and make a spill, I've got a dossier handy to clean up the mess. Crime fighting has come a long way since your day. Is, is, I bet, is what you're thinking. Okay, so make J. Edgar uh, Hoover collect dossiers on everyone. So that's anime and that's kind of cool. He's not got voice, which is a little bit disappointing, but whatever. The dossiers are ready. We've got those criminals on the, on the ropes now, boy. Achoo! Hey, could you hand me here, Dossier? Yeah, I need to blow my nose into it. Da da da. Okay. Marion Anthony, Fat Tony, Dem Demi Dam Demikia, whatever. All crime in this town goes through him. Fat Tony, a criminal? Nah, you got him all wrong. He's a kitty cat. Real generous guy too. Gives me an envelope every month, stuffed with cash. I don't even have to ask. Set up on me. I like my enemies to know who hunts them. Ooh, can I use that line? I mean, it's not at all true for me, but I'd love to say that in one time or So make J go for criminal meeting. Oh, what's this one? Wait, wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong task, I'm sorry. <laughs> Click the wrong one. Um, make Fat Tony go to a criminal meeting. So we'll skip that, and we'll skip that. I wonder if there is going to be a separate task for his um, costume. Ah, so this is the infamous copper who took down so many of my historical companions, rather. You'll soon be history yourself, Mr. Tony. Not if me and my men have anything to say for, about that. Ain't that right, Johnny Tight Lips? Da, da, da. You know, this one time it would be okay for you to talk. Okay. I, oh, I always do that. It's something about it built the FBI. If you guys can pause and you can read it. And I did it with the barrel of a gun, my beloved Chicago typewriter. Because that's the modern way to fight crime, with a never-ending hail of indiscrimination gunfire, indiscriminate gunfire. Time to be a hero. So make Edward hunt the, hunt the mob. So that's animated. It's kind of cool. There you go, you can see him there with his machine gun. <laughs> I'll skip that. Come on. Blam, blam, blam. Why are you firing in my streets, you lunatic? I'm taking 
the war to criminals. I'm the other... Uh, in the only language they understand. Yeah, that's not really how we do things anymore. The mob isn't even that big of a deal these days. Relax. Fat Tony's crew is really just harmless local colour at this point. Kind of charming if you think about it. So, uh, how do you fight crime now? With a fair, deadlier weapon. Paperwork. <laughs> May I also collect dossiers on everyone again? I think this probably will be the final task. It's part five. Yeah, final goal complete. So now... It's a disgraceful that uh, it's a disgraceful that James Comey wrote a tell-all book in in my days. An FBI director was was a dis was discreet. He had the grace to threaten and ex extort a pr the president behind closed doors like a gentleman. I must convince the president to restrain me, but how to win his trust? I know. I'll take his greatest enemy, the liberal media. So I'll expose their lies and t and their fake news, and above all, their um, pernicious gay agenda over. If the if the media isn't stopped, pretty soon will we will all be a hundred percent gay, and I'm the only one who can stop it. Oh great, a political questline, my favorite. Not so. Investigate media agendas. I really don't like it when they do political stuff. I wish they would just keep it neutral. Eight forty three in the morning. Channel six. Anchor Kent Brockman buys a latte. He exchanges pl pleasantries with the very. Uh, barista. The barista has no idea that he is now gay. Are you following me, sir? I've been made drat. I need a better disguise. Time to go undercover. Deep cover. Look out, gay America. The most heterosexual man in the world is coming for you. Naturally, it's incredibly uncomfortable for me to wear women's clothing. But the heterosexual lifestyle I love so dearly is under attack. Time to check out the breeding ground for of gay, the gay agenda, the local bar scene. For a woman-loving guy like me, this will be a treacherous assignment. So make under so infiltrate bars. Here you here's your drink, pal. Pal, do you think I'm a man dressed in woman's clothing? That's sick. Lots of fellas enjoy a little cross drilling. Uh, cross dressing doesn't hurt anybody. So nowadays, if a man finds a woman wearing, uh, uh, sorry, if a man finds a woman wearing. If a man finds wearing, if a man finds wearing women's clothing enjoyable, that's considered okay. Okay, I should have read that over. To each his own, I guess. Doesn't really affect me either way. Damn you, liberal media. Okay, so skip that. So, as I cruise the bar scene, I'm shocked uh, how far the gay agenda has reached. Everywhere I find acceptable intolerance, acceptance and tolerance. What a nightmare. My male companion of many decades, Clyde Tolson, would be sickened by all this. Like me, he loved the, da the dames. We would hold each other for hours and talk about how sexy women's bodies were to us. The liberal media must be stopped and I'm, I'm the girl to do it. So, enjoy a delightful cocktail... Is it, was this actually in an episode? Because I'm curious. Because this is kind of weird. <laughs> hey cutie, what's your name? If you are one of those proudly out gays, please know I am almost impossibly straight. Oh, that's obviously... That's obvious, honey. Beautiful dress. <laughs> Thank you. I was rather concerned it made my hips look... You're trying to hit on me. Well, I am not at all incredibly flattered and in interested. I know a great bar down the street. Can I buy you a drink? You may. But if we go back to my place later and enjoy an evening together, I hope you won't think that I am a hetero homosexual. I'm just a victim of the liberal media, damn them. <laughs> so, infiltrate bars. So he's actually a closeted homosexual. Right. I think they stole that from American Beauty. <laughs> so, final goal complete. There you go. So, that's the character. It's just one character, and I guess that's the entire sort of pride update. So, um, I'm probably just going to call this... Should I call this... Premium gameplay? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to label this premium gameplay or... Uh, I might do a separate video, actually. Yeah, I probably... Ugh, screw it. I'll do a separate video. So this was the premium gameplay. I'm going to do a separate video talking about the update as a whole and kind of just reviewing it. But this was the premium gameplay for uh, both Edgar Hoover and Undercover Hoover. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and goodbye.